All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, as I Craft Chest here with the moment you've been waiting for, and it is the actual reveal of the RX 480 build. I have the PC right here. We're going to be going over the core components of this PC that we built up to this right here, which is the XFX RX 480 card. And as you can see, this is a beautiful card. The reason why I went with XFX is because they offered the backplate and get it in there for you like that. You can see the actual chip straight up in the middle. And the card itself is that long, just behind the six pin connector. It does come with the HDMI port plus three display ports. And this thing is pretty beefy. Putting it on the fish scale in my hands, probably about a three pound card. So it's not a lightweight at all. I love the extra little effort they, that XFX went to for this backplate as well. They actually have their logo on there. Uh, it's got some serial numbers over here. Um, they do have the you know air that can push out from right there. Just a beautiful card, and I love the weight of this thing. Whenever I put the pick the box up, I'm like, what did I order, man? This isn't that isn't a graphics card, but yes, it is. So there we go. That is the RX 480 right there. This is the 8 gig model. Um, I've already done this one time before. I tried to, to stream it to Twitch, but my stream went off into oblivion and was showing me offline. It didn't even kick it into my highlights or my video on demand. So that's why I'm doing this detailed video. Uh, we're not going to hook it up and go to the BIOS and software and all that like we did before. Uh, just quite simply because it's already done at this point. But there have been a lot of people out there messaging me talking about that they would love to get them one of the 880K chips, or they were thinking about getting it, and using the RX480, and they were wondering if that's what I was doing, and yes, it is. Now, this particular chip right here is under $100 uh, on Amazon. It's like $98 and some pennies uh, for the X4880K, and so far, I have not seen that bottleneck that people say that you get. Now, this is a single gaming PC, which means I'm just doing the gaming. I don't have 25 tabs open, video running on a separate monitor, chat rooms, and all this other stuff going on for this PC, so it doesn't have to worry about all that hyper-threading for multitasking and all that. It's just purely playing the game uh, that I have open at the particular time uh, that I'm playing it and streaming it. This, which recording, is on the second PC, which actually takes all of that load off of this one because we do have the Avermedia C985 Live Gamer HD and they are running in tandem. I do have a two PC setup now uh, that works quite nicely. I'm loving the way that it gives me that ability to just game with this PC because folks, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars for a quality PC and especially one like this and I love this computer. Check this out right here, how clean this build is, how simplistic this build is, but it gets the job done. As I'll lean it over to get a little light glare going on, and you can see inside of there, there is not really that much going on, just for gaming. We have our PNY CS1311 240 gig solid state drive. We do have the Western Digital Blue for mass storage for like movies, or games that I really don't play a lot, but I want to try it, which I'm going to have to start doing now because uh, this 240 is already full of my favorite games. I got like 30 gigs to spare for patches and what have you. We have the Straight Power 10 uh, by Be Quiet, the 600 watt power supply. This one is not available any longer, but there's one that's a little bit cheaper that should do the same for this build. This is a little bit overkill, 600 watts for this. This one does have the twin rail, twin uh, 12 volt rails on it. Uh, we have the Team Dark, which is, how is their description on that? Their description on this is Team Dark 16 gig DDR3 2400 overclock uh, for this. And what else we have going on? The X4880K uh, CPU using the Wraith cooler and the DIY case, which is the F2W white. And it does come in three different flavors. You have uh, sherbet colored, orange, uh, purple and white. I love the white color. So let's go over these particular parts because there was one guy in particular that's been just messaging left and right. Uh, another person that has been interested in this is Maximilian 
dimethyltryptamine madricus. I think he just put uh, Hernandez now on his description. So let's switch over to this PC and you'll see the uh, recordception going on there. But let's go over to this. Now, I will give you the cost of these, then a total uh, price on all of it. Let me pull the camera up as well. Uh, that way I'm not just fiddling like this and you're not seeing anything. All right, the XFX uh, 8 gig card, the RX 480. This one was factory overclocked. I did not know that's what I was buying. I should have paid more attention, but that's okay. It's overclocked to 1288, just outside the turbo boost uh, capabilities at 1266. So it's not really that big of an overclock on this, but uh, being that this one has the Wattman on it, we're gonna. I've already tested it out with the 16.7 uh, drivers with the power consumption th button off. We're gonna turn it on and see if there's any frame rate differences uh, in the future. And I will post up or keep you posted on. Uh, the differences in the two. I don't want this video to be three hours long because it'll take forever for it to upload. So that's why I'm speaking kind of quickly and going over uh, the core components for everybody. And then if you want to tweak it and get a different case or a different motherboard, a different power supply, that's all on you. But I'm telling you right now, this is under $700 less the mass storage. That mass storage, you could probably boost it up over just over $700. But taking the mass storage out, of the equation the way this PC sits right here is right at $670 and you can shop around and get better deals uh, the original chip that we have in here is the a10 7890k which is using the CPU the x4880 K uh, we do have the Wraith cooler in this particular build uh, the solid state drive, as I mentioned before, the CS1311 240 gig, it's only $64.99, Amazon Prime. And for the motherboard, there's two different options that I would suggest. Now, this one will take you up just under that $700 range. It's the AS Rock motherboard. Uh, it's an AT ATX, uh, which will, will not fit in the case that I'm going to show you. It's going to only fit in the mid-tower or above case, but... I really like this board. I think I might buy one in the future for another uh, build for somebody else. Uh, the actual motherboard that we have in here is this one, which is no longer available through Newegg. You can still find it around, but this one is the Bolton 4 technology. Uh, it's the A88X Bolton 4, and it's $64. Uh, for the RAM, we have the Team Dark 16 gig. This is the DDR3 2400 Overclocked Edition. For the case, I love this case. And let me come back over here for just a moment and show you what I'm talking about. You cannot get a, a better visual than that right there. Uh, the pictures just don't do it justice. And I love, see this, this big hump right here? That is awesome for cable management because all my cables lay flat in this little bump right here because this case is optic optic free i'll get it right in a sec but no optics on it at all it's just pure gaming baby pure gaming um there's the back of it right there and we'll go over the pictures briefly uh, it does have two blue led fans on it one in the front one in the rear and they look like waterfalls when they're spinning and it's dark very very awesome and on top let's see if it'll show me a top view yeah not really but up here, I'll show you. Let me go back over to this right quick. Wait, couldn't even see any of that, could you? Ha 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 ha! Silly me, I didn't change scenes. Silly rabbit. But up here, the hard drive indicator light, which is right about there, it shines a blue LED beam out of it. And I mean, straight to the ceiling. And whenever it has activity and it starts flickering, it looks pretty cool. It's like a little bit of light show, especially whenever it's dark. Now let's go back over to here. There we go. But what I was showing you is, as I was going to show you, is on top of that uh, particular uh, LED. It does have rear and front blue LED lights. It's just a clean case, and it's thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. I did buy another one of those yesterday, just to have it. I mean, I may not even use it, but it's an extra case if somebody wants me to do a build for them, which I do do builds for people, uh, just to let you know. Uh, for the power supply, we went with the Be Quiet, like I said, the Straight Power 10 600, 
That one's no longer available. But I've had it for quite a while, but I put it in this particular bill because I love Be Quiet power supplies. They are German made. They're very rock solid and very, very quiet. I love their fans. You see these, these, uh, those little ridges in the fans right there? That right there makes such a difference. It may not seem like it does, and it does not get hot. That's the beautiful thing about these power supplies. Now, this one is a 500-watt uh, ATX. I don't know if it has the twin rails like mine do, uh, mine do but let's see, ATX 12, 80 plus gold. Um, it doesn't say it, but I'm sure that it's more than capable of running this system. You don't really need it unless you run Crossfire anyway. But it's $99.90. Let's see what this is over here. And, of course, I already showed you this. I don't know why I have two tabs that I open. That's the uh, CS1311, and that's my order history. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I think that's about it. Did I go over everything? I think that's it. Yeah. And, like I said, the mass storage is all up to you what you want to do. And we'll bring this up one time just to show you. Here is the dust calculator. Does the calculator show up? $672, everybody. As this one sits right here using uh, that $99 power supply versus the one that I actually bought for like $130. That's what's sitting in here right now. Uh, full modular design. That's the reason why it's a little bit more pricey. But for a case, especially if you're going to go with a case like this, you don't need all those cables just all mashed up. Now, in this case, if you'll notice, let me go back to my other camera, and I'll show you. In this particular case, right here, there's a little tray underneath that I have a cable stuck in. Now, you can use that uh, if you use a non-modular power supply, but I've grown spoiled to modulars, man. Whenever I use a regular power supply versus one that's not, it's like, oh, my God, it's a rat's nest. Now, you look behind my desk, and you're like, oh, my God, that's a rat's nest. But inside of a PC, I can't stand it anymore. And the cable management in here is not perfect. I could actually tweak that a little bit. But that is clean. You, all you see are, are the components inside of this case, and that's it. I uh, believe I've covered all that there is. I do have a top fan. Now, I did get me a Cooler Master 120-millimeter uh, top fan for this case, but I don't use it. I haven't seen any heat spikes because my AC runs constantly. I have a window unit right over here just to keep all this cool and the vent blows straight across and it gets good cool air uh, in the intakes, in the exhaust, it goes ac across the components and as you can see this is clean in here. No dust buildup whatsoever. I haven't even blown this co computer out in the past, how long have I had it now, four months now that we've had this PC? So there you go. Uh, I don't know what else to cover. Let's go back to the RX 480. Now, I do want to talk about this. Talking to a lot of friends of mine, talking to people in different uh, streams where people are actually uh, talking about GPUs, uh, talking about computer builds. Can you build a gaming PC for under $700? And people say no. Well, quite honestly, it's not true. Because this one right here, the early frame rate checks that I have done the first run of this and I haven't done any tweaks this is just out of the box fresh drivers let's go game uh, which you can go back and see the video on demand I'll post a link to my uh, twitch channel down here so you can go look at the last the last VOD that I have up should be where we were doing frame rate test and I was getting pretty good frame rates pretty good frame rates I mean, nothing that I can recall, I'm trying to think right now, nothing that I can recall that was under 60 frames a second. Nope. Everything was well above that. Uh, Path of Exile was almost 200 frames a second. Uh, H1Z1, I was getting like 87-ish thereabouts, depending on what was going on and what was rendering and all that. And that is with a render of 1,000. Uh, the field of vision at 67 uh, for that game. Terra was about 57 to 65. It fluctuated depending on what I was doing there. And it went up higher than that in certain spots. But that one's running DirectX 9 anyway. So you're not really going to get a true test on an older engine like that one. Uh, what else did I test? Diablo got well over 100 frames a second uh, in Diablo 3. And there was a couple of more that I tested out. 
but I don't remember the actual frame rates. Uh, we will go into Wattman and activate that throttle back on the uh, current for this and see if that does anything to it as far as drops or increases or what have you. Rumor out there says that it actually gives it an increase on frame rates. And going back to what I was saying about people talking about budget builds, budget build to a lot of people I believe means cheap ass shit because you can't afford the good stuff. Well, in my opinion, it's about smart shopping, seeing what works together, doing the research, and then doing it a live test. But see, it's hard for a lot of people out there to get a true, you know, hey, does this work before I go shelling out my hard-earned money? Because believe it or not, believe it or not, folks, not everybody's able to make it rain, baby. You know, we're not able to go out there and buy, you know, dual 1080s or 1070s. You know, we're not able to buy that $1,800 i7 God chip that they have out there. A lot of people's not able. So that's where AMD got it right with this particular card. Yes, it's a mid-range card, but I believe it's even better than the mid-range that's being uh, offered as an opinion out there because so far, my first few test runs have been night and day as far as even going through the Gigabyte cards that I have running dual graphics in my i5 build, all right? Uh, so don't think in your mind budget build means cheap ass shit. That's the wrong type of budget I believe people need to have conceived more so in the money aspect but not quality aspect of a build such as this one. Now, could I have gone with Intel chips? Yes, but here's my deal. I like Intel and I like AMD and I wanted to see how AMD's components work together. There are too many people out there that do builds like this. And I saw one the other day, and I'm not going to say his name, but I was like, dude, are you kidding me? You can't do that shit. He put this RX 480 on an i3, y'all. An i3. Albeit it's a two-core processor for with four logical cores, so you could trick games into think. No. Why would you do that? I mean, come on, dude at least give somebody a quad core option like I did, and you can still keep it, what did I say, to under $700, okay? You could go cheaper than this. You know, if you went with like, you know, a 120 SSD and then a, a, a cheaper, you know, $35, 500 gig or a, a terabyte that you can find dirt cheap out there these days, uh, cards, uh, the, the X4880K, in my opinion, is a solid chip so far. I haven't had any problems out of it. The A10-7890K runs the same chip. And as everybody has seen on past streams, just that APU by itself, they're like, you know, what's your computer? And I tell them, they're like, what? well, what's your graphics card? I don't have one. What? It just blows their mind. So we need to stop having such bias towards, oh, I only buy GTX. I only buy Intel. Just because that's what you've been in, ingrained in the, that Kool-Aid, baby. It's, it goes back to that video I made about the Kool-Aid or that live stream where we talked about the Kool-Aid. You know, you have to be able to, to branch out and get out of that box because a lot of times you're just throwing money out there. You're just throwing it out there when it's not necessary. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to morph this computer into what it is today. Just to show you that you can have quality. And, the, and I'm going to show you that quality in the future uh, in upcoming videos that I will post to YouTube. We will do highlights from Twitch.tv, uh, from the 12th Power Gaming Channel, etc., etc. So this is just the beginning. This is just me going over the core components. And let me tell you, this is not budget. Okay? People aren't even doing the benchmarks on this right. Because you're doing benchmarks off of monitors. This card was meant for VR. That's our next step, everybody. I'm going to start doing a fundraiser. I'm going to start saving back my pennies. And we're going to get either a Vive or an Oculus, something out there uh, that's VR technology, and see exactly what this card can do with that. Because that's what they made this for, entry-level VR technology. All right? Everybody seems to have forgotten that fact. They're not even acknowledging the fact that the RX 480 can handle virtual reality, everybody. I haven't heard one person yet out there mention that. Everything's always a benchmark on 1080, on 2K, on 4K. But nobody has hooked up a vibe to it yet that I've seen. Maybe I'm missing it. 
I don't know. I don't deep dive into YouTube and into the internet, but nobody has, has hooked a VR up to it yet. That's our next step. So if anybody out there wants to support me, hit me up on my on my Twitter, hit me up on, on YouTube here. If you want to throw the pennies in there, and we'll get a vibe, everybody, and we'll see exactly what this can do as this computer sits, because I'm done. Once I plug this back in here and we fire it back up, there may be a few little tweaks, and like I said, in the white man and all that, we'll turn on components here and there and make it a little bit more efficient. But I'm not doing anything else. This is it. $672. You know, even if you have a part-time job, let's think about over the long haul of components that will be there for you. You could do this in a matter of eight weeks, depending on if you get paid weekly or bi-weekly. All right? First week, you buy the case, 35 bucks. Second week, maybe buy the hard drive. You know, you get them week after week after week, two week after two week after two week. That's the way I do it. That's the way I've had to do it uh, because I don't get sponsored. I'm hoping one day that we'll be able to get enough attention on doing new parts like this and new builds and new ideas and opening people's minds up to an unbiased opinion when it comes to building quality PCs for not a lot of money. Budget building at its finest. All right, that cable's bothering me. I got to tuck that away. What is that anyway? Is that the four-pin connector? What is that? It is. Oh, no, that's another. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's the actual GPU plug. I'm trying to tuck it away, and it needs to be there. All right, so before I ramble any longer, let's have another look inside of here. This does not have the card. I'll actually plug the card in for you right quick, and then we'll end it. This shouldn't take but just a moment. Let me get up here and plug this bad boy back in its slot. Uh, open and plug this in here. Boom. Snap crackle and here we go and don't forget to plug it in craft chest because that would be bad that would really melt the motherboard then let's put the screw back in its little holster here six pin connector going here i should go into a pc build contest you know how they have those build contests at those conventions and that and there we go now let's have a look at the final there it is the rx 480 in its place amongst all the other components. And notice everybody, the red theme matches. The hard drive, the card, the RAM, it's all red and black, baby. You know, and I could go in uh, even further and put a black decal or a red decal over the power supply right there and the back of that hard drive, et cetera, et cetera. But I love that, how everything kind of matches. That's awesome, isn't it? There you go. RX 480, under $700. As this computer sits now that's a craft of the mind go out there and have some fun no matter what you do no matter what name brand you like it's all up to you baby but I'm just giving you my opinion Woo!